the Holy Spirit was bent on not allowing me to enjoy anything. He didn't even want me to enjoy myself. He just kept on firing, firing war. And you know, that time I was always praying, and he, God, is this relationship is not your will? I already knew that this relationship is not God's will. I don't know why we always lie to ourselves. I already knew that this relationship was not God's will. Or like, if it's not God's will, oh God, if it's not your will, let's let it scatter anything you want to do, let it be destroyed. Cause confusion, make us part ways. You know that kind of prayer. And as I was praying, I was still here. You know how Jonah knew he was the cause of the problem that the ship was um is this sinking. I be mean, there was storm, but he was still inside. Hey, I was praying prayer. I was not praying the prayer, but I knew that like this prayer I'm praying is working. But I was still there. I was like, ah, it's too early. It's too early. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lighten Maria, as you all already know. So guys, I saw this post on on IG and I was like, I can relate. So I must make a video on this. Don't forget to subscribe and keep watching. What I want to talk about this video is that the Holy Spirit will go an extra mile. He will look for a means to reveal to you countless of times that this person this direction you're going to is not what god has for you i talk about the holy spirit most times on my channel because i know the importance of having him in your life and if you do not know please start knowing now because that man eh, that my guy that my nigga that man don't try for me he get many times so i want four hands but man could just show up he could just show me sign ah, let me not speak on that yeah let me maintain so like the guy just has a, like the holy spirit but he has a way of like just revealing things to you there are many times i've been in a situation where i know that where i am is not where i'm meant to be like majority of us if we want to be honest because like i don't want very um dishonest people i don't want dishonest people or pretenders on my youtube channel i want people that are following me on my subscribers to people that we can relate with each other you know you're not scared or you're not shy about your past or you're not um you don't pretend you know like you just want to be like ah nothing is happening in your life i don't want those kind of subscribers i beg i want people like i can relate with like real like you know how real meets real yeah those are the kind of people i want on my youtube channel though like that's just it so like if you are pretend that this my youtube channel is not for you sorry because like i can't relate you know the holy spirit always goes extra mile to tell me light this this place where you did no be where i won't make you day you day you know the better place and i overlook it most times you know as humans like when the holy spirit speaks to us at times okay you 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 obey and you leave for the first time and before you know something happens people come back together most of the times when there are sexual intimacy whatever in that relationship which is not healthy by the way but like we have found ourselves in that situation and coming out is always an issue how we relate to this video because like there was a time let me just say people there was a time i was in this relationship and eh? i knew very well like i have god speaks to me through dreams right from when i was little if i have a dream and i see something in my dream majority of times it comes to pass and now my dreams don't come like warning at times they come like telling me this is what is happening and now there was a relationship i was in one time and it was unhealthy because like it's okay let's end it there and like I kept on staying there. I knew that this guy, I like if we check our purpose, our plans, nothing rhymed, you know. You know what I'm saying? Nothing rhymed. Everything was just like there. But I found myself still here. Maybe because the guy was fine. Shao. <laughs> that is by the way. But then I think four weeks into our relationship. I had a revelation, the very first revelation. It was not even four weeks, I think two weeks. Two weeks or week what? No, two weeks into where we started dating, like we officially started dating. I had a revelation. And in that revelation, like I saw my mom, right? And she was like, um, light. <laughs> she she did, she was not smiling with the guy. Like she saw me and the guy, but she was not smiling with the guy. So she spoke to me, she was like, light. 
I don't want what happened to like me to happen to you. You get, you know, like I'm from a broken home. Basically, I'm not shy about it. I talk about it because like I want to spread love to everyone that is in that situation. But like you know, God is the father of everyone. So be happy and don't let any situation you are in tie you down or drain your joy. My blood and my jaw will never be dry in Jesus' name. Amen. So that's by the way. And so when she told me that stuff, I woke up and ah, I was like, Chai, you will not even allow me to enjoy this relationship with better. Nah, nah, like I've already seen sign because me, I say, you know how they talk to you, but that is how the Holy Spirit talks to me. And then and then I knew that like ah, this thing no go work. You know, my the Holy Spirit is my G. I know when he talks to me. You know, I say this thing no go work. He no feel work. But then. Ah, Hmm. I was already in love with my brothers and my sisters. So I fashed about okay, I overlooked it. Then I think three three days from that day I had that dream. I had another dream. My mom saw me with him, so she was just walking past and she eyed me. She gave me one very bad eye. Ah, I was like, okay, um, I know this relationship will not work to marriage, but let me just manage, let me just stay, you know. Like I just still fresh. How will I just start living something? I just started, you know, like I did that's how I stayed oh I stayed like for maybe about two months. But in the first month or more, it don't look like first month relationship. Whoa, brimstone, whoa, 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 whoa. No peace. Like the Holy Spirit was bent on not allowing me to enjoy anything. He did not even want me to enjoy myself. He just kept on firing, firing war. And you know, that time I was always praying, hey, God, is this relationship is not your will. I already knew that this relationship is not God's will. I don't know why we always lie to us. I already knew that this relationship was not God's will. Or like, if it's not God's will, oh God, if it's not your will, if let, let it scatter anything you want to do, let it be destroyed. Cause confusion, make us part ways. You know that kind of prayer. And as I was praying, I was still here. You know how Jonah knew he was the cause of the problem that the ship was um is this sinking a bit there, there was storm but he was still inside the hey, I was praying prayer I was not praying the prayer but I knew that like this prayer I'm praying is working but I was still there I was like ah it's too early it's too not mind if you believe me or if you do not if you do not believe me but the Holy Spirit can go extra mile now I have told a couple of people this story this dream and they were like are you sure and some people were like you're lying but to be very honest I'm saying the honest truth and this is why I'm like what I'm saying is because I know that if the Holy Spirit loves you and if he's your friend and he has like there's no how you have your best friend and your best friend will not have your back that is how the Holy Spirit is to me he has my back 247 now why I know they carry and play so now nice, I won't talk this thing if you hear and you get us, they do you for body, now your own problem. But this thing where I want to hear you now, reach out to me. It happened to me, life and direct. And after you hear this story and you believe that, you make you go, go back, go work on your relationship with God and the Holy Spirit. Make you they reveal some kind things to you. Because if I thought the Holy Spirit they reveal some kind things to you, or if I thought you they sensitive, because I know say the Holy Spirit they reveal, but when I not just they sensitive. But if you they sensitive, you go understand what they they talk. To make an enter into the main gist mm -hmm. in the night, like I, that was like around two in the morning. If I want to be sure, the Holy Spirit. Okay, I had a dream. I had a revelation. Right, I had a revelation. Now, my former relationship. Right, I've never been that kind of person that will carry my partner's phone and say I want to check um, if he's cheating on me. I've never been that kind of person. So I just started this relationship and I was not even bent on doing anything because I was not suspected. And so that night, I did not even think of it though. You know how you are think of something and you have a dream and then it ha like you see what you like, you have something similar to what you were thinking in your dream. I'm not talking about those kind of dreams. This one was different. I was not thinking about this when I slept. And in my sleep, I had, like I just saw how someone just drew a password. I was asleep, please. Very much asleep. Someone drew a password. If someone woke me up in that dream, like wake up, wake up, right? Very weird, I know. Honestly, I don't know what the Holy Spirit wanted to show me that day, but I failed. That moment, the Holy Spirit woke me up. I woke up. 
it was like really i think it was earlier on that morning but it was like around two three it was still very dark so as i woke up i felt very weak i thought my partner was sleeping my partner at that time was sleeping i just flashed like till i slept back i don't know but i did not touch his phone so i woke up the next morning and i forgot totally about this dream that i had earlier as of that morning like few hours before them only for me my partner entered inside the bathroom to have his bath and i was in the room waiting only for me something just entered light remember that dream like it just rang she you know how you, you forgot about your dream then it just comes back then stood up carried the phone as i carried the phone i was trying to remember the password that i saw in my dream i could not really remember but i was trying to picture how i saw it but i'm telling you in a way i cannot understand the password let me let's say for instance so the password was like this for instance now that i say in my dream but the password i now I put i just put direct like i put exactly opposite of what i saw in my dream i was not expecting it to open because like it was a mistake i was to do it like this but then and i went and did it like this she gets i was not expecting it to open lo and behold it opened i say um as me i was scared you know like i was not expecting like i was like jesus like how did this happen because I just had this stuff in my dream a few hours ago and it was not what I saw in my dream I put I just put an opposite of what I saw and how I even went and did that opposite thing because maybe if I put the password I saw in my dream it wouldn't have worked but I just did the opposite and it worked and I was like mesmerized for some few seconds you know I was just like ah, wow could this be real you know so I opened it I just felt like at that point the Holy Spirit wanted me to find out something but hmm you know as women the first thing i went to was other messages about women and there was one day that i needed to find out where he was but i don't know if that was the thing but that opening that phone and seeing that he had like at that moment i just said in my mind it is time to go i already knew from day one you see one thing about not listening to the holy spirit now i've invested a lot even though not really much but there have been some form of investment in the relationship so living now was more painful than living then when i had nothing attached so you get so that's just the story i had to tell you guys you see the difference between god and us we can imagine the end we can imagine it as a perfect end but we don't know the end but god already knows the end so would you rather allow your imagination lead you or you will allow someone who has already gone past your imagination and seen the end of whether your imagination will lead you to and knows how fruitful or how bitter it will be to lead you instead thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share and don't forget to comment if this video blessed you or if you could relate in one way or the other take care of yourself bye -ya. i can't remember what i was saying just now jesus Holy Spirit help me. But so I've talked too much. So now